on the rock. Hi, I'm Christopher Tobias of Rohar Guide Service. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a water pump on a 50 horsepower Yamaha outboard with a jet lower unit. It's pretty easy to do, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see here, we've got our parts that you can pick up right at your local Yamaha dealer. We've got the replacement case for the water pump and all the internals that are going to go inside that. Got your impeller, metal sleeve here, you got replacement bolts, you got everything you need. So make sure you pick that up. Like I said, Yamaha dealer will have everything you need, parts kit, and always make sure you replace the case on it. Uh, it's just just good maintenance to replace everything and cheap investment for uh, to help your motor last a lot longer. To get started, we're going to have to remove these nuts right here that are on the jet cup. There are six total that go all the way around. It is a 11 millimeter box wrench that we're going to use to take those off. All right, once you get all the nuts removed, go ahead and remove the jet cup. Set that off to the side. And you're gonna see here, you've got a winged washer to keep the bolt from spinning. You're gonna have to get a screwdriver and lift those tabs up. And then that'll allow you to loosen up the nut so you can pull your impeller off. It's always a good idea too to get a couple extra of these in case you snap off the wings. That way you don't have to run back and forth to the parts store. And also you want to be sure that you know how many washers you have between your nut and the impeller and above the impeller so that way you put it back uh, the same way. And this nut just comes right off. And I've got my impeller shim pretty good. I've only got one washer. It's about in the last leg of its life. But make sure you keep everything together. Got the winged washer. Got this washer, and then you got a rubber washer. Just go ahead and slide the impeller down. There's my one washer below. Also be sure there's a key that goes inside. Make sure you don't lose that key or else your impeller is going to be spinning. Looks like this. And that goes on the flat side of the drive shaft there. Put that in our parts box. Go ahead and Here's my five washers above my impeller to shim it. This is looking up into the lower unit. You're going to have four bolts that we're going to take out. They're 13 millimeter. You got, they're all on the outside. One, two, three, and four. We need to pull those out in order to slide the lower unit out. Uh, also, before you pull your lower unit, you're going to want to disconnect your cable assembly here. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, I usually just put the bolts right back in with the nuts so I don't lose them. We'll do that right before we get our last bolt out of the lower unit. All right, as you can see, these two bolts are different lengths. One's about a quarter inch longer than the other one. This one goes, the short one goes towards the front of the jet pump. This one goes towards the rear as they go back in once you reassemble. All right, to disassemble the cable here, we're gonna use a 11 millimeter wrench and then you need a wrench and a screwdriver to disassemble that. Uh, like I said before, once I take this apart, I put the bolts and the nuts right back in so that way I don't lose them. You're going to want to do it in reverse order, putting them back together. Once you have everything disassembled, go ahead and move your cable off to the side and out of the way. Now to get the entire lower unit off, we're going to remove this rubber stop right here. And underneath here is a bolt right down in there that is 14 millimeter pull that once we pull that the lower unit will slide right out the lower unit's free
three, go ahead and just slide it on out real easy. All right, here we have your lower unit. This right here is the water pump housing. And we're gonna take out these four bolts first. They are 12 millimeter. And in this case, will slide right off. And then we'll have access to the impeller. And the sleeve right here, and there's a gasket also below it. Once you get all these bolts out, you can go ahead and toss those off to the side because the kit comes with brand new ones. Go ahead and spin this case. That'll slide right off. Set that aside because we got a brand new one. All right, here's your impeller. Just get a screwdriver and lift up on it. Once you get a good grip on it, it'll slide right out. Slide that right up over the drive shaft. And now there's a little key that actually goes in there. It lies against the flat part of the drive shaft. Slides in the impeller. There's a little notch right there, as you can see, right there by my pointer finger. And it goes on the flat side of the drive shaft, so it, that way it locks in the impeller and it spins. Go ahead, pull that off. Pull your plate off. Pull your old gasket off. The gasket will only go on one way. As you can see, there's two different holes that will line up on these notches on the lower unit. Drive shafts in the way, but. All right, we're gonna start reassembling. Gasket goes down first. And your plate. Slide that right over. I reused the old brass fitting from my previous water pump, put a new O-ring in there, and actually slid the rubber piece that comes with the kit down in there. It's right below this brass piece. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get out your O-ring for the water pump case. Slides right in those grooves, locks in with the knobs that are on there. Push that right down, and you're all set. One thing I forgot to mention is uh, this little cup will go inside the water pump housing. There's a little notch in here where this little metal nipple slides into. So just line that up. Slide it down in there. It should ride flat. Just like that. To make life a little easier when sliding the impeller down, just slide a little bit of grease on the inside. And you're going to want the notch for the key facing down. You're going to want to know which way which impeller it's sitting on. My flat spot for my notch is right straight down here. Slide that right down. Got that right there. I'm gonna take the key. Slide the key under the notch. When putting the water pump housing on, you wanna give enough room be able to spin it in the direction that's going to go. There we go. We got to seat it nice and flat. We're going to take our brand new bolts. Put 
hand tighten them. And then we'll come back with a socket wrench and tighten them down. Once everything is good to go on your water pump, you can go ahead and slide your little rear unit back in. Now there's a nipple that'll line up right here and on the front side as well. Once everything is good to go, your lower unit is ready to slide back in. Slide your drive shaft up there. We have to spin it to line it up. Once you get it lined up, grab one of your bolts. Remember the shorter ones go up front and the longer ones go in the rear. Once you get everything buttoned up tight with your lower unit, you have four, bolt, four bolts up here, one up top, and your cable on the side. I, you can go ahead and put your impeller back in. Make sure you remember how many washers you had on top and below your impeller to make sure it's shimmed correctly. Uh, you might want to go ahead while you got it out, check, make sure your shim's good. I uh, just don't want to shim it too much because the impeller will bind it inside the sleeve. It's cone shaped. So I had five washers on top, one on the bottom, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the impeller back. Don't forget, put your key, it goes on the flat part of the drive shaft, just slides right up in there in the impeller, slide it back on there. Got my one washer on the bottom, and you got your rubber washer. that washer, followed by your winged washer, hand tighten that on there. Once you get your impeller on there, your washer nice and, your nut nice and tight, and your wing washers tabs down, go ahead, grab your jet cup, Line it up. And tighten her down. As you can see, it's very easy basic maintenance. I definitely recommend doing it yearly. 53 bucks to your wallet, 45 minutes of your time. And it's a definite plus to keep your motor running and in top condition. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was informational for you.